All right, today we're going to be looking at what I think are the top five creepiest creatures in Subnautica. I was going to do scariest, but then I changed my mind, and now we're doing the creepiest. So we're not we're not thinking of big and bad stuff like the Reaper Leviathan. We're going to be thinking about things that are a little more freaky in nature. Anyways, without further ado, let's head on to our number five spot. All right, so coming in at number five on today's list, we have Blood Crawlers. Now, if you're like me and you're afraid of things that have like super long, long, I was about to say long neck, super long legs, like uh like daddy long leg spiders you know just big old spiders in general then the blood crawler will 100 creep you out blood crawlers are basically like the regular cave crawlers this dude is all over the ceiling ain't he dang they're like regular cave crawlers except they're found underwater in the deeper biomes like the blood kelp zone which i am in right now these ones are a little bit different than the regular cave crawlers because they can actually like jump up at you if you're swimming around near them they can also climb all over the walls so you know as you're exploring a biome you may see them all over the ceiling as you're walking around or on the walls which is super freaking disgusting and freaky to look at the main thing that makes them creepy in my opinion is their you know super super long legs as we can see right now if he could just stop moving for like two seconds thank you which you know they just look absolutely disgusting and they're sort of like pointy at the very very end as we can see right here they got four red eyes and they have like that big old circular thing on the top of their head i'm not entirely sure what that is unless that's their eye and the other stuff is just regular. Whatever this thing is on the top of their head, we can see that there is a reflection of the tree cove in there. Not sure if, I don't know, maybe like that's the last place they've ever visited. And they're just like remembering what the, oh, maybe, maybe it could be their brain, you know? This could be their brain and that's where he just came from. You know, maybe he went to go see his little crab wife in the tree cove and now he's out hunting for food. And he's trying to remember, you know, where he lives. And that's that's where he lives, in the Tree Cove, I guess. But yeah, cave crawlers, overall, they're not that big of a threat either, really. They don't really do, like, all that much damage to you or anything like that. But they're just super, super freaky to see walking around. Because they're super long legs, they can crawl over walls, and they're really skinny. That's also, like, another thing. Super skinny and long legs, not a good combination. Because then you just look like, I don't know, like a stick walking around, like a giant stick bun. And that's, that's, now uh, I don't know about that. And with that, we can move on to our next creature. Alright, so the next creature we have on the creepy creatures list is going to be Mega Mind himself. So we have the crab squid here coming in at number four. Now, there's a few things I find to be creepy about the crab squid. The main, not the main thing, but one of the, one of those things is its legs. So obviously it's a crab squid, so he has crab legs, you know, that he uses to walk around and whatnot, but his legs are also kind of long, just like the blood crawlers. And I found those to be creepy because of their legs. So their legs are also, they also sort of freak me out a little bit. Not to the extent that the cave crawler, or not the cave crawler, the, um, the blood crawlers do, because their legs are a little bit thicker, but you know, they're still kind of nasty to look at because there's so many right underneath their giant head. He's got four eyes on the front of his face and they look, you know, they don't, they don't really, they aren't that bad as far as like creepy things go, but but his mouth is kind of disgusting to look in. It's like super white. And he's got these little, um, t I don't even know what you call these freaking tendrils, tentacles hanging off from his mouth. I guess he uses that to eat. And then the main thing, of course, with his entire appearance is the fact that you can see through his entire head. As you see, his head like sort of goes up. It's like a little bit regular. And then it's like, it just turns into like a big old golf ball right here. And it just, it's just massive at the back. He's storing all that dang knowledge and EMP stuff he's got in his head. The front of his head looks cool though. This little horn, yeah, I like this. I like the way this looks. But the back of his head, this little, this little giant golf ball he's got sitting on the back of his head, I don't like that. And also his head sort of like wobbles around a bit, I think. I'm trying to show you what I'm talking about, but he's like moving a little bit too fast. Okay, so yeah, there it is. You can see it right there. His head sort of like, it's sort of, oh, this dude is on the hunt. My goodness. His head sort of like, um, I don't even know how to, how to describe that. We can see it's, it's sort of like wobbling back and forth and it's getting bigger and smaller. If he could just stop trying to attack every creature in the vicinity, we could look, get a good look at him. I tried to slow it down, but we can't really see his head moving around if it's slowed. Look at, look at his head, look at his head. You see that? The way it's sort of like bulging out and then it goes back down and then it does it again over and over again. That's disgusting to look at. Yep, look at it, look at it. Nasty. Look at him, bro. He's just, he's just taking off. His sounds, the sounds he makes. Yep, he just made another one right there. The sounds he makes are also a little bit creepy, I was saying. It's the crab squid coming in at number four on our little top five creepy, creepy creatures list. And with that, we can move on to number three. All right, and coming in at number three on today's list, we have the bleeders. Now, it's a lot, lot, lot smaller creature than what we were just looking at. So it's like a stark jump. But bleeders really, really freak me out because they're essentially like the leeches of Subnautica. And and they sort of just latch onto your arm and they'll drain blood for as long as they are, you know, attached, which will deal damage to you. Now their appearance, kind of disgusting. They have like four little, um, ugh, ugh, look at you, disgusting. 
okay and that sound that sound that y'all were just hearing that that's from the bleeder <laughs> that that's their sounds their sounds are kind of nasty too we can see in front of his face he's got like a little mouth in the very middle and then he has like four little disgusting pinchers and then he's got four uh i don't even know what those are what are those sensors eyeballs i don't know what the freak those are then you got his whole body you know he's got some spines on the top and bottom of his body and then you have this little spot this is the spot that freaks me out the most because i think this is where the blood goes whenever they're like draining blood he's draining blood and whatnot and he looks freaking horrifying yeah that is where the blood goes look at that look at the little thingy on the back i don't even know what to call that but his little um look at the way he's just pulsing he's just pulsing on my arm and it just looks like it's like steadily getting bigger and bigger all right y'all dang ain't enough blood for all y'all now watch out but we can see how this thing is just like pulsing and pulsing and pulsing and it's just disgusting did i just die to a bleeder are you serious but yeah bleeders super creepy because they're essentially leeches of subnautica and leeches freak me out overall because i just don't like that idea of something latching onto me and sucking blood out of me anyways let's move on to our number two spot on today's creepy creature list all right coming in in our number two spot we have warfers you know squidward himself warfers are creepy for you know all right that's one of the reasons they're creepy to me right there is the noises that they make because it sounds like they're freaking robotic almost which in the lore they are technically I, I believe they're technically robots so it does make sense the sounds that they make but those sounds are still freaky nonetheless because you know little high pitched high pitched screech and it's also a little bit technological so you're hearing like a little um uh, you know like some robotic sounds in there so that's kind of nasty his body you know you can see through his entire body so we can see he has like these big old claws right here his face is also kind of nasty too because he's got these like two big old pinchers and then that freaking beaver tooth he's got in the middle of his mouth he has four eyes each on the left and right hand side and then the main the other main thing is the fact that you can see his entire like all his organs basically you can see his whole rib cage under his body uh, I'm guessing that's their heart if they did have one and then we go down we can see you know like these sort of like veins coursing all throughout its body with the purple glow and then all the way down here leading back to the tentacles that it has you know if I saw that I wouldn't be like duking on myself or anything but I would be like oh well what the heck is that you know I'd be a little just a little bit freaked out because I'm like well what is that thing about to do to me because it, it don't look like anything I've seen before in my life ever and there they go all right well I guess with that we can head on to our number one spot since the warpers just freaking left us all right and everybody knows them you all love them we have the hammerhead shark himself so coming in at number one for the creepiest creature in subnautica in my opinion we're gonna have the ghost leviathan now the ghost leviathan is you know he is terrifying don't get me wrong it's very very terrifying leviathan to see in this game but he's also super creepy as well because of the way he looks and the biggest thing about the way he looks is the fact that one he glows his entire body glows as he's swimming around and you can see through every part of his body you know he doesn't have I don't think he has a single part of his body that you can't see through. But if we head onto the inside of his mouth, we can see that the inside of his mouth is also that same like transparent color as the outside of his skin because if we look around we can still see like his little hammerhead things over there and then if we look straight ahead we can also see the inside of his body which sort of looks like a rib cage down there but it's not it's just his skin but you know and then this leads into the actual physical part of his actual body right here as we can see but the inside of his body also looks quite quite horrifying i would say you know if he didn't it's a good thing he's got all that blue stuff around him because if he didn't and we saw him like this he'd be even creepier because if we look at the inside of his body you know you can see it's just this nasty um what is this like army like doo-doo green i don't even know what color this is freaking doo-doo green gray color all over the inside of his body and it's and his body does not look very um his body doesn't look very developed that's that i think that's the word i was looking for because like when you head up here it's kind of just like oh wait no i guess that would be what is this like his rib cage or stomach that's his head up here and then this is his neck it looks absolutely be terrifying and then we head over here we have his stomach and then his ribs but overall just a really really creepy leviathan in my opinion he's the creepiest the leviathan in the game you know because uh, out of the leviathans we have we have the reaper leviathan sea dragon sea upper and the sea treader this would probably be the creepiest one because of the way he looks both on the his exterior because you can see through his entire body and then if we look a little bit closer and look what his actual body looks like it's even creepier because it looks terrifying unlike all the other leviathans he doesn't have like a regular roar you know like a roar and like you know you know that was a terrible roar impression but you know you know what i'm saying he doesn't have like a roar roar instead he has more of like a like a shriek that he does like a really loud a really loud and ear 
piercing shriek that the ghost leviathan does that sort of freaks you out whenever you hear it because then again you're gonna be like what the freak was that you know Those are my top five creepiest creatures in Subnautica, in my opinion at least. If you had a different opinion on other creatures that you may have found creepy or creepier than the ones that I had on this list, or maybe you would put the creatures in like a different order or whatever, feel free to let me know in the comments below. But yeah, other than that, that is about all I have for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.